Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. Today we're in Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 and following in the Sermon on the Mount, where Jesus said these words. Therefore, anyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rains came down and the streams rose and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But anyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rains came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. With these words, Jesus finishes his most famous body of teaching, the Sermon on the Mount, Matthews 5 to 7. And uh, it's almost as though that, that word, the great crash, kind of echoes in our minds and in the ears of his first hearers. He says to them, essentially, um, it's not enough just to hear what I've said. It's not enough to say, oh, that's an interesting idea. That's a good idea. I might think about that. He says, you've got to put it into practice in order for it to start to have an effect. And a life where you've put into practice my teachings is a secure life founded in the reality and truth of God and rooted in the life of God. It's secure eternally, ultimately. Whether the rains come and the winds come and, and so on, it'll still be secure. But if you don't put them into practice, if you hear and go away and do nothing with this, then your life will be as though it's built on sand and it can only end in one way, destruction, dismantlement. If you want true security, put into practice my teaching, Jesus says. It's a, a warning, but also an invitation at the end of his Sermon on the Mount, an invitation into life in all its fullness and true eternal security. Too often in our culture, Jesus is dismissed. Um, we say about him, he's a great moral teacher. He has some interesting things to say, some quaint things to say. Uh, and some of that stands, but a lot has been dismissed because human beings, we've moved on. Science and evidence-based thinking and the column of progress, we've all, we've moved on from there. And uh, and we can keep some of it, but a lot of it we need to jettison because it's out of date. I don't think that's true um, at all of the Sermon on Mount. Everything that we read there can be applied to our lives today and should be practised. Dallas Willard wrote a book called The Divine Conspiracy, in which he says this profound thing about Jesus as teacher. Right at the heart of this alienation of faith and life lies the absence of Jesus the teacher from our lives. Strangely, we seem prepared to learn how to live from almost anyone but him. And that's true in the church as well as out of it. We need to hear the words of Jesus and we need to put them into practice. We need to be students of his teaching. So this week, have a look at uh, my executive summary of the Sermon on the Mount or read the whole thing it's again and choose one thing perhaps that you know you can go away and work on. Put it into practice. It may be difficult or tricky at first, but as the saying goes, practice makes perfect.